what made Michael Michael Hutchins? Michael was a gypsy. Uh, he was separate to everybody. I mean, you, you look at In Excess, it's a band that every member of that band, it's the only band they've ever been in. And, and the reason that Michael was, I can remember a story, um, Andrew, I think, was telling me that the reason that Michael was chosen as a singer because he couldn't play an instrument yeah. and he was a poet. So, and he was a mate, so you're in the band. So, yeah. what are you going to Oh, you might as well sing, you know? <laughs> that's, that's how it started. And in those days, of course, with In Excess, it's really interesting because Kirk and Tim, being the eldest, when those days when they first started, were the only guys who had girlfriends and driver's licenses. <laughs> so you can see how the, the 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 band sort of the maturity as the other guys got older, Andrew and Michael and Gary, everybody caught up. It, you know, it was a bit. The, the dynamics changed a lot, but uh, it, but it was Tim Kirk's band to begin with, really. Yeah, yeah. It must have been amazing uh, to. To just follow them around from every pub, I think it's amazing you could do sort of four shows a well, day or more. You know? well, it was amazing for me because not only was I going to pub gigs here back in you know when they first started, but I toured the world with them. And, you know, it, 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 in the, um, on the um, just after kick, and uh, it was incredible to see the difference. You know, because they've been working so hard through America on buses, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and then they. they they rang me up one day and said, we're doing the world tour. I want you to come along. We'll record a few shows. But come backstage after every gig and just tell us what you think. And, and that's how I spent a year, flying around the world with those guys. It was uh, one of the most amazing times. That's amazing. That's and, amazing. And that way you get a lot of personal time as well, you know. And obviously we in spending time in pre-recording. You know, I'd love to see Michael and I going up somewhere to a... A little bar where the sun's heated the wall, backs against the wall, looking at the Gulf of Naples, having a beer, and not talking <laughs> about music. <Yeah>. It's brilliant. <laughs> and and the album Kick in particular, mm-hmm. I, I can't believe that it was originally knocked back by the record company in the states. Um, yeah, well, I didn't produce that particular one. Yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it was. Uh, they did have uh, something like that, and I can remember also the boys telling me that you know the rough mixes that they they, they were hoping to come back really rocky and they were very disappointed when it came back but I'm sure they're not disappointed once it starts selling you know no, it, it, it was um, but they do love that album I, I, you know what they tell me their favourite album is Welcome to Every Hour but um, two different kinds of albums entirely but uh, yeah very, very but I, certainly you know that, that did the damage uh, worldwide no question about it but also you've got to remember that there's another member of In Excess that doesn't get talked about a lot and that's Chris Murphy the manager and so he had a plan. He stuck to the plan, followed what it through. What made Michael... And voila. Mike, what made Michael... Michael Hutchins? Michael was a gypsy. Uh, he was separate to everybody. I mean, you, you look at In Excess, it's a band that every member of that band...